What's up everyone, James at Coolest. I'm here in the lab, AKA the studio, and I wanna show you some cool stuff. Uh, this is the inaugural episode of Cool Stuff. These are things that I thought were cool and I purchased them for traveling. I encountered them while traveling or I was inspired by them during traveling. So that casts a pretty wide spectrum as to what you might see in this episode and in this series. But I think part of the randomness is gonna be part of the fun. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. This is Cool Stuff. Before I get to this thing around my neck, which I'll get to in a second, let me start small, and I want to start with a necessity for any international traveler, and that is a travel adapter for your plugs, for your electricity. Even though this is such a small item in both cost and in size, it's really important. If you've ever lost your travel adapter or if it's ever broken on you while internationally, you'll know what a pain it is to find another one. Uh, one thing I like about the Sublimeware one, not only is it unibody, which the majority of them are these days, there aren't any more um, attachments or adapters that actually are interchangeable. It's all built in right here. Not only does it have the slides for different countries, it has four USBs, right? One, two, three, four. You can see two USB 2.1s and two USB 2.4s, which are of the smart variety. Really, really cool. But that's not the coolest thing. I mean, this is 3D printed. It has a nice, rigid, stable feel to it. 20 bucks, it's really affordable. That's not the coolest part, which makes it so cool. It comes with a spare fuse. If you've ever been international and you have plugged in something that has a lot of high voltage, high watts, maybe like a hair dryer or something of that sort, you'll know that this thing can fry. Uh, it's part of the learning curve internationally. Not all circuits and wiring are the same. The cool thing about this, it comes with a built-in and replaceable circuit. So if you blow it, you can swap it out and you won't have to chase down another charger all day. You'd be lucky to find one of these internationally. It would take forever. You'd have to probably order it and it could take a day or two. That means a day or two to do your hair, a day or two to charge your phone, or a day or two basically out of your vacation. You can't have that. If you blow it up, uh, by plugging in the wrong item, it comes with a fuse and you can replace it on the spot. Really cool. The second one I like even better. And the reason I like this one better, uh, first of all, it's kind of the same. It has four USBs and it has the different sliders for all the different countries. This has a USB type C. So it has one USB type C and three USB 2.4s, which are the smart USB. This is so neat and so cool. I've actually been using this at home not as a travel adapter, of course, but just as uh, a USB port. Really, really cool. So the one with the USB Type-C is from Glamfields, okay? And then the one with the extra built-in fuse is from Sublimeware. I'll go ahead and put the links to both these in the description below. This is an Infinity Pillow. And I saw this online on Amazon as a travel pillow. This is a travel pillow. And what makes it so cool is that it's you know it has this elongated fluffy type of loop to it and you can use it in a variety of positions so you can you know put it over your head and get some noise canceling right uh, you can put it in your lap and get some hand support it's really cool um, i'll put all the different features right now so you can see them it definitely is versatile you can use this in a lot of different ways it's malleable so if you have a window seat you can kind of put it up like this it is really universal but one thing i didn't like about this and this has I think 1,500 reviews right now on Amazon with like 4.6, 4.7 stars. People rave about this thing. I had to have it. But the one thing I didn't like is that it takes up a lot of real estate in your backpack. So if you're a guy um, and you don't want to carry stuff in your hands, I'm not a big hands person. I like to carry stuff either in a suitcase or in a backpack. This might not be for you. This took, over, took up over half my real estate and it just made my backpack really, it rendered it useless. Uh, because it took up so much space. Who this probably is for and who I think would like this would be the ladies. Um, for the ladies, I don't think the bulkiness would be a big deal because a lot of ladies travel with large purses or even a tote. And what that allows you to do if you're carrying one of those items is just to float this on top. You don't have to encompass it in a zippered backpack or anything like that. So I think the ladies would really, really like that. Uh, if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description below. This is an infinity neck pillow. All right, two items that I encountered during my Miami trip one is from the Edition Hotel and the other one is from Hotel Beau Arts. Let me start with the Edition Hotel. If you remember, I started up my video at the Oyster Bar and I saw this water, all right? This is source water. Uh, it is from Lan Lur, or they say it's pronounced either Lan Fleur or Clan Clur. But I saw it and I was mesmerized by the packaging, uh, by the marketing and also the story. So people have been getting water from this area in England, in Wales since 1180 AD, so a long time ago. And this entire area um, that surrounds the stream is farmed organically. 
So no added chemicals, even to the stuff that's farming next to the river. So that's really, really cool. Um, it does have electrolytes added, but they're added naturally. So if you want your calcium, your magnesium, your sodium, your potassium, all your stuff, it's in here, but in here naturally. It's a little acidic. It's like a 6.1 or 6.2. Um, it doesn't taste like your high alkalized water with the 8.8s or 9s. That's typically what I do drink and what I gravitate to. But if you're looking for a proper dinner water, um, that's what this is. This is probably for entertaining guests. If you want to stunt or have a nice gala or a nice entertaining party, or if you are hosting and you want to have a nice cocktail water, this comes in still and sparkling, this would be it. It had me at the marketing and then I tasted it. And for natural spring water, if you're a fan of natural spring water, this is a go-to. Uh, it looks like it's pronounced Yan Yur, but apparently it's Klonkler or Flonfler. Again, I don't know how that works. If someone knows how that Welsh spelling and pronunciation works, let me know. I started out at Hotel Beau Arts before the addition, and it, during that video, I talked about these Molten Brown products. All right, these Molten Brown products, I said in that video they were the best shampoos and conditioners I've ever used, and that is correct. So much so that I bought them. These were not a cheap endeavor. Each one of these were $40. By far the most expensive shampoo and conditioner I've ever bought. I'm going to talk to you guys for a second because I think the ladies pretty much know this. Guys, if you think that styling products are the only thing that make your hair look cool, think again. Half of it is in the shampoo and the conditioner. All right, so you need to set your hair up for success before you finish it with success. So if you're buying expensive finishing products and not investing in good shampooing and conditioning products, you're only getting half of the rate of success. You need to wash and shampoo your hair with quality products in order to get quality results. Now, you don't have to buy Molten Brown. For me, I was amazed by the quality. Um, I've never, ever purchased a shampoo and conditioner up until this point after staying in hundreds of hotels, never done it before, but the second I saw these results, I had to have them. So here's what the conditioner looks like. It's in a white bottle. Here is what the shampoo looks like. Besides the shampoo and the conditioner, I also bought two of the shower gels. There's an orange one here and a muddled plum here. Um, I just bought them just to try them out. I really can't recommend these, but I thought they were cool. Again, each one of these were $40. You don't have to buy the most expensive shampoos and conditioners to get the best results, but a quality one will certainly help you. All right, last but not least, I showed my shoes, I think, back in London when I was over in London, and they were my Jeffrey West, who is based in England, okay? Um, he is a guy that combines form with function and a little bit of edge in his shoes. So these are the ones that were in my London video. Uh, these are really cool with some bullet holes on it. Really awesome, right? And then here are some Wolverine ones. They're Python with the Wolverine stripes. So these are pretty cool. They're not too flashy or not too edgy, just a little bit. And I walked past their store in London and I saw these, all right? Uh, before I get to them, here's what the box looks like, all right? Just a little edgy, a little cool. I like it. I wasn't too sure how I felt about them. Let me know what you think. Um, I pondered them for like six or nine months and then I finally decided to pull the trigger because there were only two left in the world and once he makes a run of shoes, he never makes them again. Once that style is out, it's out. So, boom, all right? So here's what they look like. And I saw them and I, I wasn't really sure because number one, I'm not a fan of Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots are slip-ons. And also I thought they were a little fantastical. Um, as you can see, they have a psychedelic vibe. I'm a big fan of psychedelia, the culture, uh, the Woodstock, 60s. I just think that was an amazing time in this world. But you can see the skull right here. Uh, it says psychedelic experience right here. Here's the all-seeing eye. And then you can just see it has like... Um, an ace of spades, it has a club right here. The bottom has like a silver type of insert between the heel and the boot. And then the bottom is the coolest part. There's a guy, a skeleton, you know, he's a little dark, he's a little edgy. It's a skeleton uh, playing the saxophone. It says, oh, music, life would be a mistake. And it's got a little clicker right there so you can hear yourself walk. Also it has his initials on here, it says J. W. So I had to have them and I ordered them. I'm still kind of go back and forth. I don't know if I'm going to wear them or display them. What do you think? Should these be worn or should these be displayed? It's kind of like a car, right? Do you, do you buy a classic car to preserve its prestige and to look at it or do you drive it? I'm a driver guy, so I should probably wear them. But again, these are never going to be made again. So I don't know. Once you put turf or pavement on these you can never take them back so let me know in the comments below do you like it do you think it's a little too edgy and also should they be worn or should they be displayed 
That's it. That's the inaugural episode of Cool Stuff, and I will see you on the next one.